this package arrived in the mail the other day and I just had the opportunity to open it today so uh, this inside is the Apunta Pro handheld stabilizer so let's check it out So I got the Afunta Pro handheld stabilizer and uh, obviously you can see from the box that it's not called Afunta although it did come with this little neat little card um, but uh, it's, it costs around $50 when you buy it online or around 2700 pesos and uh, the thing is that it, it's uh, manufactured in China and comes in different and it comes with different names but it's practically the same thing so as you open the box let's check out the insides of the box and uh here we got the, the main stabilizer um comes with the stabilizer and uh here you see the weights and uh you, you, we'll, we'll unfold this in a little bit and see how it goes Okay, now we've unboxed the Apunta Pro handheld stabilizer and uh, we've unfolded it. Let's go through some of the main features. Up here on top, here you can, is, here's the mounting plate where it's, it's fully adjustable so it depends on what camera, what camera you're using. It can be a, an action cam or an SLR and choose where to, where to place uh, your camera. Basically anything that has a standard thread can be mounted on the stabilizer. So for for you know for like for example for if you have a long lens you probably want to mount it over at the back. For example for shorter uh, wide angle action cameras you probably want to put it towards the front. Here's the handle and no, it's, it's the, the stabilizer sits on the gimbal so it's actually free moving. Um, and here is, is an adjustable, uh, you can adjust the length of the arm of the stabilizer and it comes with three weights and um, it's, it's quite, it's, uh, you can adjust depending on what camera you're using to balance the weight out. So if you're using a, an action camera, you probably would just need probably one uh, to provide a correct balance. So you just unscrew them and, and uh, maybe we'll just use that single weight. Okay, so um, next up we'll just try to balance this out and uh, let's see how this thing works. Right. Alright, so now I have my Afunta Pro handheld stabilizer balanced and uh, I think I found uh, found a good settings for it and um, yeah, it's achieving good balance but I'll probably fine tune it a little bit more as I use it. As you can see, I've, I have uh, my Ironair Pro action camera mounted on top. It's mounted on the frontmost slot, and uh, so the, I moved the gimbal, uh, the gimbal slot as well to the frontmost. And uh, I used two of the weights, and uh, I, I seem to have found a good balance. Now the thing with these uh, cheap stabilizers, they don't come with instructions, and uh, you're gonna have to check out YouTube. There are several several tutorials about uh, how to how to find the right balance for your stabilizer. Uh, I'll post some some of the most useful tutorials I found uh, down down below. All right, so let's give it a go. And there you have it, the Funda Pro handheld stabilizer uh, sports small cameras to 2.1 pounds. It's perfect for action cameras like this Iron Air Pro, or if you have a GoPro, you can use a 3 4 mount thread adapter, um, or a small DSLR. And um, at its price, it won't break the bank. It's actually very cheap. 
And for those of you who are looking for to use it for a professional in a professional capacity, there are better and uh, probably there are more professional solutions out there. So this is probably not for you. This is more for the amateurs or the occasional, you know, videographers. And um, one thing I noticed about many reviews for the Funda Pro handheld stabilizer and the, the similar products like the Roxanne stabilizers, um, they complain about its ability to stabilize the videos. And I think that um, uh, well, it does not come straight out of the box or it keeps. You do have to balance it and find the center of gravity. But after you do that, if you, are, if you do that, you will have better videos, smoother videos, and um, it will take your videos one step higher. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to see you soon.